Find out what kept things exciting for 90 Day Fiancé fans last week as new and old cast members entertained them with their life stories. Another 90 DF season concludes this week, marking the arrival of 90 Day Fiancé, Happily Ever After. It features some of the franchise's most well-known names, such as Big Ed Brown and Angela Deem. Fans know about the drama that awaits them because of the previews, but as usual, they expect to be surprised by the antics of the notorious TLC celebs. The week gone by was filled with announcements from cast members. Whether they were letting followers know that they were pregnant, or sharing that they were cast in 90 Day, the Single Life Season 3. The latter seems to be a hot favorite amongst fans who are getting tired of the recycled 90 Day Fiancé storylines and couples. Amid Ben Rathbun and Mahogany Roca's surprise engagement news, Paul Stale got himself a new look, and Larissa Lima celebrated her birthday by getting another surgery. Tiffany Franco and Natalie Mordovtseva showed off their best post-weight loss looks, and Natalie's estranged husband Mike Youngquist spent time with his alleged new girlfriend. Devin Clegg has announced that her third pregnancy is high-risk, Meanwhile, Sinjin Colchester's photo of his swollen face made fans concerned about the TLC star's health. A lot happened behind the scenes in the exciting and ever-changing world of 90 Day Fiancé in the last week. And here are some of the most jaw-dropping cast stories that made it to front pages. One couple comprised of two controversial reality celebrities is Hamza Monai and Memphis Smith, who were last seen together on 90 Day Fiancé before the 90 Days Season 5. Memphis from Michigan got married to Hamza, a younger man from Tunisia. Without ever having met him in person before, Memphis found out she was pregnant with Hamza's baby during their honeymoon. Hamza joined Memphis in the U.S. within a few months. But as predicted by fans, they split within a year of their marriage. As per Hamza's sister Rawia, Memphis could be breaking the law by not letting her brother meet his baby daughter. My brother cannot bear the separation of his daughter anymore. He suffers a lot. Pray for him please. Rawia said on Instagram, while adding that Hamza, who now stays in Chicago, has not even received a photo of his baby from Memphis. While 90DF icon Darcy is always dressed to the nines in her social media posts, that is seemingly not the case when she records her cameo videos. A Reddit user called own underscore pound underscore 5825 found a video of Darcy from the reality star's cameo page, in which the Darcy and Stacy lead isn't wearing any makeup. Darcy sported her huge lips and high cheekbones in the clip, which which are the result of cosmetic procedures. But she looked weary. Also, she had just one eyelash dangling off of her tired eyes. She really needs to go to rehab for a while sick. She'll then be able to address why she drinks and is obsessed with trying to look younger. A worried fan commented on the Reddit thread. Pillow Talk viewers have been over the moon since they found out that reality TV star Veronica Rodriguez has been cast in the upcoming 90 Day, The Single Life Season 3. Veronica, who first appeared in 90 Day Fiancé, before the 90 days, was a supporting cast member in Tim Malcolm and Jennifer Tarazona's relationship. She has become a fan favorite over the years, thanks to her Pillow Talk stints. After the single life trailer was released on TLC on her birthday, Veronica celebrated the news by stripping down for a nude photo. To celebrate turning 37 years old, Veronica was in a relationship with Tim for a decade. And while they co-parent her daughter, the BFFs are adamant that they won't get back together. However, Tim's involvement in Veronica's life is going to be by bothersome to any men on the 90 Day Fiancé spin-off that want to date her. Sources, Rawia Monai slash Instagram, r slash own underscore pound underscore 5825 slash Reddit.